Hey friends, Beck Power here again from Power Creative Media. I'm really excited to talk to you today about repurposing Facebook Lives. Five ways that you can turn your Facebook Lives into other types of social media content. Pretty cool, right? So, number one, turn your Facebook Live into short clips. So you could use, there's, listen, there's a bunch of softwares. I talk about them all the time. Um, you could, you could take these softwares and chop your, chop your Facebook lives up into little clips, uh, maybe like one minute, 30 seconds type things, um, for reels, for stories, for Instagram posts, right? You could use the, your Facebook live, you could chop out little chunks of it where you said something really great for 15, 20, 30 seconds, um, and put those on Instagram in some way, right? That's number one. Number two. You could do the same thing, but put it on YouTube Shorts. If you don't know what YouTube Shorts is, it's just a new thing that YouTube has launched where um, you know you get a really short amount of time, a couple of minutes, um, to, to do shorter videos. They're just trying to really jump on the bandwagon of shorter content just because people have shorter attention spans now. And so TikTok's doing so well, Instagram Reels are doing so well, so YouTube wants to jump on the bandwagon. So now... You just need to um, add it to YouTube and you can uh, make that happen as well. So that's number two. Number three, pull out all the quotes uh, that you that you said on your uh, on your Facebook Live, all the really good stuff that you said, quotables, and put those onto quote cards that you can design in Canva. What I do is design, um, I have a few different quote card designs. I just leave them blank in Canva and every time I wanna make quote cards, I just duplicate that thing and then I add all my awesome quotes to the quote cards and then um, I get to use those all the time. So I'm not, I don't spend much time in Canva. I just use the same sort of 10 or 15 things that I always use. They're all branded, they've all got my stuff on them and I can just paste my new content into them. Bing, bang, boom, done. Number four, pull out the audio from your Facebook Live. Now this works better when you're not kind of talking back and forth to your audience. A lot of people, when they do, when, there's nothing wrong with doing this. It's actually probably better to do for your live if you're talking to people. It's like, oh, hey, welcome, John. Good to see you, Susan. I don't know who John and Susan are. Um, but but that's that's the thing where you, you probably don't want to be, you don't want to use, do this trick if you've said a lot of like hellos to people. But if, you, if you're the type of person who just sort of presents a thing on a Facebook live and then stops talking, you can still use those for little micro uh, podcast episodes. You could upload them to Simplecast or Anchor or any of those, um, and you can create little podcast episodes where people who are too busy to watch your video might want to listen to it instead. Just an idea. That was number four. Number five. I like this one the most, I think. Transcribing your video. Um, we can, you can use anything to do it. Otter um, is a really good one to use. There's a lot of them, rev.com if, if you want it to be perfect. I would just um, transcribe the video and then take out most of it, all the extra, extra bits and leave all the rest and use those um, transcriptions as like longer Facebook posts, longer uh, LinkedIn posts, Instagram captions, LinkedIn articles, or even blog posts um, you can do as well. So these are all ways that you can use your Facebook live videos for more than just the live that you did. You know, we do these lives and oftentimes we've prepared for them and we know what we're gonna say, we make really good points and then they are gone. You know, as soon as they, uh, they're they out there, they've stopped being live. People can still watch them, but they're not there for that long. You know, after a week, they're pretty much gone. So you could take them and use them again rather than doing another live where you're basically are saying the same stuff. Um, you can take the recording of your live, chop it up into pieces, do all this type of stuff with it that I've just said. So if you're interested in doing that, but you don't really want to do it yourself, no worries. I've got a team of people and that's what we do all day. We go through your content, we find all the golden nuggets and we turn it into different bits and pieces. So if you're keen to learn more about how that works, check us out at powercreativemedia.com and I'll see you in the next video.